Hello everyone, and hello Pisces. This is gonna be a reading. Let's get these cards talking for you, Pisces. I'm using the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot deck. If you wanna get a copy, check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Or you can go to Etsy and search Nomad Soul Warrior. You will get the listing of this deck. All right, Pisces. Let us get started. I hope everyone is doing well. And Pisces, thank you for all your support in my channel. I truly appreciate you all. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I enjoyed doing this for you. You must know that. <laughs> all right. First card, Pisces, is Ace of Wands. Should I even draw more cards? Because there's a lot of things here. <laughs> Ace of Wands, I feel like someone is in the huts for you right now. Who could that be, Pisces? <laughs> um, Four of Pentacles, Temperance, the Chariot, the Devil. Oops, let's break that down later on. The Empress, okay. Hopefully you didn't get anyone pregnant accidentally. <laughs> okay, the world, which is good. I'm going to do another spread for you right now, so... Let me see what do I want to do. Okay, let's get you more cards. Just uh, Eight of Cups, King of Wands, The Fool, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and The Judgment. We have a pair here. It's a match. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So, Pisces, first things first. If your situation right now is feeling as though it's stagnant, nothing is moving, nothing is progressing, that's going to end. Yeah, that's going to end now. Whether it be in your work, in life, or even in your love life. If there's no one contacting you, be ready because your phone will not stop ringing. Yeah, this is basically movement. Eight of Wands, movement, um, changes calls texts and all so there's there's going to be a lot of activities yeah you'll be filled with activities you won't get bored basically um i see someone here who is um wow someone who is who who is very attracted to you pisces first and foremost physically they find you very attractive handsome beautiful gorgeous hot sexy what not right all the adjectives that you can think about yeah they were very interested yeah somebody was the one pursuing you or putting that effort towards you they showed all the interest through their actions th through their words but you just don't know too whether where do you place or where's your place in their heart? Yeah, because we have the Eight of Cups here. It seems like feelings are not involved, but more of perhaps somebody is wanting to just do things together with you, Pisces. Yeah, wanting to spend more time with you, possibly go to activities, parties, um, travel, or even collaborate Yeah, at work. You know, networking and things like that. But there's no emotional engagement so far. Um, this person could just be starting off in their career or starting fresh. Could be somebody who may have been, you know, from a prior relationship and then now they're starting over. So they may just have gotten a new apartment, um, putting the foundations in, building their savings account and things like that. So somebody who is um, starting, starting over and kind of in the process of building their own foundation, savings and all, particularly in the money, money matters. Yeah, they're building their own foundation. They're not really out there, you know, searching for all the other connections, but more so they want to be more conservative with their approach in life. They would rather be more a uh, putting effort to build their own stability to build, maybe perhaps get their own apartment, have more of their savings on their own so that, you know, they can feel comfortable, yeah, a certain level of comfort in their life. 
very conservative approach. And I feel like they are attracted to you because there's something in you, Pisces, that's kind of motivating them to do just that. Maybe you exude the same type of characteristic. Maybe on your own, you can be imaginative, you do everything that you want to do, you're creative, you're working hard and all that. And they see that you have that level of stability in your life too. And they want that as well. Now, one thing I see here is that this person is really attractive, attracted to you. At the same time, while they're building their own foundation in life, personal, you know, to be more self-reliant, I feel that they also want to take a leap of faith towards you. So if you're not seeing any form of emotional expression from this person, if they're not expressing how they feel about you right now, I feel like they're taking it slow, but it's the beginning of their journey towards you. So this could be someone that you already know or someone who is still coming towards you because these are all initiation cards, Ace and the journey, the Fool. It's the beginning of the journey of one person towards you and they want you to be part of their journey. They have feelings for you, but at this point, they don't really know how, how that means or what that means. Yeah, it's a very big, it's a very big type of emotion that is undefined yet. So rightfully, you cannot expect this person to express something that they don't even understand yet. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a situation or a connection that will grow slowly, steady, but it would feel, it would feel easy. Yeah. It would feel easy. So give this person some time. Don't rush this person out because they will get there. At some point now, they feel that they have something. They feel something about you. They just can't express it. They care. They want to be with you. They want to talk to you, but they cannot define what type of feelings do they have for you yet. But at some point, you know, the king is more of the external expression. The queen is more of how they feel inside. Yeah. At some point, this person gets that feeling of the kingly type of expression. And once they're able to define what is unknown in the past, they will be ready to express to you how they feel. And they will take action. Yeah. But then it's going to take some time. It's going to be, it's not going to be tomorrow, especially if you have just met this person this year. <laughs> it's not going to be tomorrow, Pisces, but it, it takes some time. You know, anything that is worth having in life takes time. So just have that in mind, especially in relationships, especially in, if it involves the matters of the heart, anything that is worth having takes some time. And I feel like this person, why I remember saying that, it's maybe because that's how this person feels. If it is worth having Pisces in their life, it takes some time for it to grow. N no rush. Yeah, There's no rush about it. Because once this person decides, yeah, once they are clear with how they feel about you, what they want to do with you, <laughs> yeah, once they get to the bottom of it, definitely they will speak up. Definitely they will take the rightful steps to make things happen, to make the change, to make that escalation or elevation of, of the relationship that you have, whatever this is for you right now. Yeah, a decision will have to be made here. Yeah, a decision will have to be made. And, um, and I feel like it's going to happen, Pisces, after this person is healed from any past toxic relationships that they have. So when this person um, approach you right now, or if you just met this person, if you have be you're beginning to get to know them, um, of course, the interest, how good looking they are, the positivity that they showed to you, that is what's obvious for you, right? But you don't really know everything about this person, what's happening in their life if they are away from you, or what happened in their life before you came, yeah? what they had before, what type of relationship they had before. So you don't know that. And I feel like that's the reason why I'm saying it takes some time because I still see that this person has a need to, to build themselves up to be more self-reliant. 
It could be that they have just broken up or they have a past relationship that has been very entangled. And that's a devil type of energy. Or that even if they have broken up with an ex, they still keep on going back and forth in that situation. No judgment there. You know, some people has to undergo such things until they realize that, hey, toxicity is never a good choice in the long run. So I feel, like, like I said, for now, they see you, they are attracted to you. They don't even know how they feel. They feel something for you, but they cannot define it. But once, give it some time because they will surely know. They'll get to the bottom of it and they will express. When are they going to express that? When they are able to process and finish off, close out a cycle that they may have had in the past that has been very toxic. Okay? And once that's done, Pisces, it's going to be a sure go. A direction. This is very fast. You know, the chariot. Just imagine when the chariot starts to kick, to kick up, it will fly. <laughs> so once a decision is made, once this person takes action, everything will just move smoothly. There's no turning back. So they can do that once they clear out any negativity, any toxicity in the past. And you know what can you expect from this situation? Is the Empress. Yeah. It's, it's a big signifier of a good relationship, a relationship that is thriving, loving, fertile, you know, especially if you're planning to have family, kids, or even just a long-term companionship where you want to be with someone that you want, you know, read books together in your veranda up to old age <laughs> and things like that. So this is like expansion and grace. What do you want to have overall yeah, in your life? This could also involve marriage, proposal, and happiness. Yeah, long-term abundance. This is a good. This is a good reading. I'm not gonna pull any more cards because it's it's good enough, at least for now. I'm gonna leave it at that, Pisces, and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.